Satan Personates Christ, Part 2, July 17. Satan is preparing his deceptions uh, that in his last campaign against the people of God, they may not understand that it is he. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14, it says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of life. As we consider the word transform, it simply means uh, to change the figure of. Uh, sin is depicted as darkness. Righteousness is depicted as light. As we consider the scripture and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed uh, into an angel of light, we understand that because of sin, uh, 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 the merits or the uh, demeanors of the devil is not the same. Uh, but the devil, in order to look like righteousness, uh, would appear to be dignified. He would appear to have the light and that covering on him. Uh, the Bible says that no marvel, for Satan himself will try to transform himself like an angel of light. Uh, the sad thing here is that many will be deceived when he does this. Understand the only way for us not to be deceived is if we are well connected uh, to who Jesus Christ is. If we are well connected uh, to who Jesus Christ is and to Jesus Christ, then when the devil does his transforming into an angel of light, we will be able to spot that it's a fake. Uh, you may be wondering, how can I recognize uh, that this angel of light is a transformation of the devil? Uh, simple, my brothers and sisters. Uh, spiritual things are spiritually discerned. So even as we uh, look at uh, this angel uh, of light, a uh, professed angel of light, uh, we would discern spiritually that this is not of God. Uh, I want us to pray today that God would give us a spiritual discernment so that we would be able to discern a uh, fake. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for being with us. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless us with spiritual discernment uh, so that we would not be deceived or fooled uh, by the enemy. Help us to remain focused upon you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, uh, the power of the word every day uh, will keep the enemy at bay.